everybody. <clears throat> I'm going to show you uh, what I do on the Columbia, especially for springers. Um, tuna balls is my go-to plunk and bait for springers. Um, I'll use coon shrimp from time to time, but <clears throat> I've had more luck with tuna balls than anything. So what I'm going to do is I, I got me some tuna belly here. I'm going to put it in this grinder. I mean, I use canned tuna too. Nothing, nothing wrong. But if I get my hands on the tuna belly, it's it's my go-to. So, <clears throat> give it a little. Grind. Then what I like to do is I like to add my favorite scent to it. And my, my favorite scent is this Northwest Bait and Scent Tuna Belly. So I'll give it a little squirt in there. Also, salmon, they really crave salt. So get you some non-iodized sea salt. Put it in there. Give her a little mix. Take your spawn net. I, I like to buy my spawn net at the fabric store because you get these huge rolls for around five or six bucks and they pretty much last a lifetime. So, put your spawn net down, get you a little bit of this tuna belly, put it down in there. If I didn't have tuna belly, I would definitely use tuna in a can. I've used it my whole life. It's still a great bait, but as you can see, the tuna belly and these oils that they put out are just a great attractant. Get some of this stretchy string. Give her a little trim. And there you have it. <clears throat> These work great for Springer. It's Springer time of year. I've caught more fish on a tuna ball than anything in my life. So there you go.